Hello students, in our previous video, we have studied about the phase rule and the phase transitions. We are studying the phase equilibrium and here we will study about the phase diagram. So firstly we see the one component system. One component system is basically very important for the CSIR NAT exam. While in the GATT exam, the general questions are asked from the two component system. So we will study both, both of them. Okay, so firstly we see the one component system. What is a one component system? When in a system only one component is present, then such type of system will be called a one component system. For example, in the water system, where only water, it means H2O is present a single component, then that is called the one component system. For such type of systems, the C will be equal to 1. Okay. Now see what is the phase diagram. Phase diagram is nothing a general diagram that show a graph between the pressure and the temperature and here we see general we see the general basic variation of the different phases with the pressure and the temperature how various phases survive at the different pressure and the temperature so we will see we will see here the different phases of a single component system okay so there may be different conditions when only one phase is present in the diagram there will be three types of the points one is when one phase is only present in that case we know that c is equal to one here p will be equal to one so our number of degree of freedom will be one minus one plus two means two it means the here the system will be bivariant such type of bivariant stage is shown by the area it means when a phase is present then this phase is shown by a area when two phases are present in equilibrium such as when liquid and vapor are in equilibrium then there are two phases component is one so degree of freedom will be one it means the system will be now monovariant so the equilibrium between the two phases is shown by a line at this line there are two phases present simultaneously that are in equilibrium so here for a particular pressure there will be a single temperature for each pressure if we vary the pressure then we have to vary the temperature to remain the system in the equilibrium all right now see the third point when the three phases are in equilibrium there is a condition also when all the three phases are present in equilibrium liquid vapor and solid state all are present in equilibrium then the number of phases will be three okay so the degree of freedom will be here zero it means the system will be invariant it means this point this equilibrium is shown by a point that point we call the triple point and this triple point occurs at a particular temperature and a particular pressure only at a single pressure and a single temperature this point will exist if we show any deviation in the temperature or in the pressure then there will remain only the two phases not three phases will present so it is present at a particular temperature and a particular pressure okay Okay, such type of conditions, such phase diagram, we can understand this with the help of the water system. Water system is a basic type of one component system and this is the phase diagram for the water system. I have made this diagram roughly, you can see this diagram in the books. Okay, here I have made just for the representation so that you can understand all the things clearly. So this is a particular type of the phase diagram, a general phase diagram that is for the water system. From this diagram, we can understand about the phase diagrams. What is a phase diagram? So here we plot the pressure against the temperature and in this phase diagram, there are particular areas. The area that is about the pressure at the low temperature, this is generally the solid area. And here the area that is at the higher temperature and the lower pressure is the vapor phase okay gaseous phase and this area shows the liquid phase so there are basically three phases solid liquid and vapor and these all when the single phase is present this thing is shown by a area these are the single areas that shows that there is only a one phase now in this diagram you can see there are three different lines this line O to B, this OB line 
and this OC line and this OA line. These are the three lines that shows that there are two phases in equilibrium at each line. It means the number of phases that are in equilibrium here are two. In these areas, the number of phases are one. Here, the number of phases are two. Now, we can see here that at this line, OB line, this shows that the solid and the water vapor solid and the vapor state here are in equilibrium at this line ob line okay solid and vapor are in equilibrium so this will show the sublimation curve now see this line o2 a line this line shows that they are liquid and vapor are in equilibrium so this line shows the vapor pressure curve of the water okay now see the line oc at this line, the solid and the liquid phases are in equilibrium. So, this will show the fusion curve of the water. Okay, so there are three lines in this curve. Now, we can see that at 100 degree centigrade, when the temperature is 100 degree centigrade, then at this temperature, the vapor pressure of water is 1 atmosphere. So, this shows the boiling point of the water. Now, there is a point O. At this point, all the three phases are in equilibrium, solid, liquid, water, all are in equilibrium. So, this will show the triple point of the water. Now, we have, we have said earlier that the triple point occurs only at a particular temperature and the particular pressure. So, for the water, this particular temperature is 0 0.00715 degree centigrade and pressure is 4.58 millimeter of mercury. All right? Now, in this curve, in the curve of water system, we can see there is a special character. What is that character? The slope of this curve, this line, you can see this fusion curve is somewhat inclined toward the pressure axis. This is in this direction. It means the slope of this OC curve is negative. What is meant by this negative curve? We know that the slope is given by the clapeyron clausius equation. It means dp upon dt is equal to del H fusion upon T Vl minus Vs. Vl minus Vs. Okay. So, this dp upon dt shows the slope of any curve. Now, this curve has the negative slope. It means this value dp upon dt is negative. Now, how this negative, how this value is negative? Actually, what happens in this case? In the case of the water, this value, this difference in the volume of liquid and volume of solid is negative. Why this happens? Because in the case of water, the solid has more volume than the liquid. In general cases, what happens? The liquid has more volume. But in the case of the water, there is hydrogen bonding present in the solid ice. So, due to the hydrogen bonding, the solid ice will have a particular structure. So, it will have a definite volume. But when the when the ice melts, these hydrogen bondings dissociates. So, the volume of the liquid decreases. So, Vs is greater than Vl. So, this value is negative and hence the slope of this curve is negative. This is the special character of the water system. And on this particular point, one question has been asked in the CSIR net, CSIR net exam. Alright? Okay, another important phase diagram is for the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the another one component system and this is the phase diagram for the carbon dioxide. Okay, here the pressure is plotted against the temperature as usual and here the three phases solid, liquid, gas. As I have already stated that in this area solid phase exists, in this area gaseous phase exists and this area is for the liquid phase. In these three areas, here this is only a single phase, this is only a single phase, this is only a single phase. Okay, now we come to the curves. The curve A to B. In this curve, the solid gas, solid carbon dioxide and gaseous carbon dioxide are in equilibrium. So, this curve is called sublimation curve. Okay, now see the curve BD. In this line, the liquid and the gas are in equilibrium at this line. So, this curve will be called the vapor pressure curve. Now, the third curve, BC curve. At this curve, the solid and the liquid are in equilibrium. So, this curve will show the fusion curve of the carbon dioxide. 
now the all three curves meet at the point b so the b is the triple point for the carbon dioxide and this point occurs at minus 57 degree centigrade at 5.2 atmospheric pressure all right so all the things are clear now see the specific characteristic of the carbon dioxide curve in this curve as opposite of the water curve as in contrast of the water curve here the slope of the curve bc this slope is positive in the case of water system the slope was inclined toward the pressure axis but here it is positive it is away from the pressure axis it means we can say that this value dp upon dt is here positive it means the volume of liquid here is more than the volume of solid all right now see the another important character here the solid liquid equilibrium is present at very high pressure this solid liquid equilibrium is only till the 5.2 atmospheric pressure it means the liquid phase is present only above this pressure and at the low pressure the liquid carbon dioxide does not exist so this is the special point of this this phase diagram okay now the third important point here is that the vapor pressure of the solid carbon dioxide is very high even at the very low temperature we can see that the vapor pressure of the solid carbon dioxide is very high even at very low temperature when the temperature is low even then the pressure is very high and even at one atmospheric pressure here the gaseous co2 can be solidified directly to the solid phase it at this temper is this pressure also there is a equilibrium between the solid and the gaseous phase it means we can convert the solid to gas and gas to the solid carbon dioxide how we can convert it even at we can only just we have to cool this to the minus 78 degree centigrade if we cool this then even at one atmosphere we can convert the gaseous carbon dioxide to the solid carbon dioxide so the solid carbon dioxide is a very common thing and we call it generally the dry ice so it can be converted even at one atmospheric pressure without converting to the liquid state because the liquid state is present only at very high pressure so this is all about the phase diagrams of the water and the carbon dioxide the video is getting quite lengthy so the numericals about this particular topic we will cover in our next video okay thank you